Looks impressive. Well, that takes us to the sport now tonight with Brandon Cook. Thanks very much, Norman. Yes, a very good evening to you all. Barry Robson says he'll now be able to focus on finishing as high up the table as possible after being handed the Aberdeen manager's position until the end of the season. Well, Robson has brought in former Dundee United boss Liam Fox to Pitaudry as first team coach. Here's Stephanie Daly. With three wins in their last three games, there's no doubting Aberdeen's revival under Barry Robson. Robson was this week handed the manager's job until the end of the season, after taking interim charge following the sacking of Jim Goodwin at the end of January. It gives us a, a bit more focus, I suppose, and it lets us um, try and get our heads down and try and win some games till the end of the season. So we're pleased that um, myself and Steve will, will be here till the end of the season and uh, we can really focus on and working to, towards trying to finish up the league as high as we can. Life moves fast and when a new manager comes in, you've got to then pick yourselves back up again, um, buy into what the new manager is trying to do. And I think that's what the, the squad have done very well. And as the football managerial merry-go-round would have it, Robson has brought former Dundee United boss Liam Fox to Pataudry as first team coach after he was replaced by Goodwin at Tanadice. Now this football club for the ages of 18, to, to the first team, it needs someone who's got all these experiences and when you've got someone who's came under 18s, development, plus being a manager, there's no better person for me that, that can fill that uh, void. Obviously, he'll be with the first team all the time, but there will also be other things that um, tries to get these young, fit, fit, fresh players into our team. And the Dons will bid to keep up their push for third when they travel to meet a St Johnston side who have top six in their sights. I think it's a you know, game for us where we're, we're challenging for top six. I think it's important. We've got four games to go. Uh, I think we need to win quite a few of them to get there. You know, uh, so again, it starts obviously at home today, uh, home on Saturday against Aberdeen. Uh, I think Aberdeen very good squad. You know, very good group of players. Uh, so it's going to be a really tough game. We know if we, we we perform our best, we've got a chance of winning the game, and that's the most important part for me. Um, as I've said to the players, we've not achieved anything. We've not achieved anything. What we have done is. We've got ourselves in a bit better of a position. So the message is clear. We get our heads down, we work, and we try and win games for the football club. Stephanie Daly, STV News. Well, elsewhere in Jim Goodwin's Dundee United travel to Ibrooks, determined to take something from their game against Rangers. And meanwhile, second bottom Ross County hope to get the better of Celtic, who visit Dingwall on Sunday. Here's Jamie Borthwick. After a whirlwind introduction to Dundee United, the international break has bought Jim Goodwin crucial time to get to know his players and vice versa as the club battle for Premiership survival. One man Goodwin will be hoping can fire the tangerines up the table is star striker Stephen Fletcher. And the Tanadice number nine is ready to add to his tally as United face a tricky trip to Ibrox to face Rangers. We spoke about that in the last couple of, couple of weeks where the manager has said that we can't just rely on one person to score the goals, we need to get goals from other areas in the pitch and um, we, all the boys know that um, but yeah, obviously it is, as a striker it's your job to score goals so hopefully I can get a few before the end of the season. Just two points ahead of United, Ross County have lost four of their last five but they're also determined to take something from the visit of Celtic to Dingwall on Sunday. We were close. Uh, one of the games up here last year, and and, and certainly at the start of the season, I, I, you know, it was we were in the game. Let's just say that. And six, eight weeks ago down at Parkhead, that we we give a reasonable account of ourselves as well. So we've got to make sure that we give everything we've got at the weekend um, for our, our fans, for our team, and make the game difficult for for Celtic and make sure we try and get points out of it. Elsewhere in the Premiership tomorrow, Hibs host Motherwell, Hearts visit Kilmarnock, or St Mirren host Livingston. Jamie Borthwick, STV News. Well, in the Championship, our both hope to climb further away from the relegation zone when Air United visit Gayfield tonight. Elsewhere tomorrow, Cove welcome Partick Thistle, while Inverness continue their push for a playoff place at Morton. Second place Dundee host Hamilton, knowing if they can win all of their remaining seven games, they will win the league title. It's the first title challenge that I've been involved in in my career, and hopefully not the last, and... It's, it's exciting, it's a different sort of pressure, so, so to speak, but it's, it's definitely exciting to be a part of, yeah. I definitely feel I can, I can play my part, as can everyone. Um, you know, I, I have faith in my ability and what I can do on the pitch, but um, 
it's going to definitely going to be a team effort to, to, to get over the line. And that's all the sport from me this Friday evening, Norman. Brandon, thank you.